Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's go to text layer, let's write here design, clearization tool, and let's zoom to here, and move the anchor point down, clearization tool, then let's go to character and change font size, move to center, and go to here, let's enable title action save, let's change font size again, and move to here. Okay, so right now select this text, move to behind vector layers and select text layer, let's lock, select all vector layers, let's move to here and this move to here and this icon Okay, let's move to left a little bit Okay, so in this time select this layer 1 Let's press P and let's move to down, make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's click timeline right here plus 10. Click OK for go to 10 keyframe and let's move to up. Go to 10 keyframe again. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard and select first keyframe. Let's copy pass and select last keyframe, let's move it up like this ok, select keyframes, let's right mouse, keyframe assistant, easy ease or click F9 let's animation ok, so, select this keyframe, let's go to graph editor and zoom to graph select this graph and move to left select this graph, move to right I want to file in graph, let's see very nice so back to chain frames with this icon and right now let's select these chain frames, move to right and back to first chain frame, let's hold shift, press S, open scale, make scale chain frame and change scale 0, go to here, change scale 100, select chain frames, make easy ease, let's see timing, ok, so select these three passing chain frames, let's move to left, let's say again, very nice. And let's add rotation, hold shift, press air, open rotation and go to first second, make rotation keyframe, frame and go to here and this time let's change rotation like this, go to some keyframes, frames, change rotation again and go to last keyframe, frame, change rotation zero, select rotation keyframes, frames, make easy, let's see, very nice. Ok, so in this time select these all keyframes, all positions, scale and rotation keyframes. Let's Ctrl C, close these keyframe settings and select other layers. Layer 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Go to first second and let's press keyframes, Ctrl V. Let's see. Nice. So in this time select this layer 2, let's press P. Select these all position keyframes and this is very important thing. Go to last position keyframe and select all three keyframes. Let's move to right with keyframes. Let's animation. Nice. Okay, so close keyframe settings, select layer 3 and press P for select all position keyframes and go to again last position keyframe, select positions and move to right. Nice. Then select this layer 4, press P. Select position keyframes again, go to last position keyframe and move to right. And select this layer 5, press P again, select these position keyframes, go to last position and move to right. And finally select this layer 6, press P, select position keyframes and move to right for letter N. Ok, let's see animations. Nice. So close these keyframe settings. And select all layers again, let's press U for C keyframes and go to last keyframe and select all layers, go to edit and split layer or Control shift D. Then let's delete, again hold Control A, select all layers, close keyframe settings and let's see, nice. So in this time 
Let's select this layer 2, move to right 3 keyframes, select layer 3, move to here, 1, 2, 3. And select layer 4, move to here, and move to right 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3. Select layer 5, move to here, move to right 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3. And layer 6, move to here, and move to right 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3. Let's see. Nice, very good. So in this time, let's select this text design, let's unlock and move to up. Okay, in this time, let's duplicate these text layers. Let's make seven duplicates with Ctrl D. Okay, so let's hide all layers. And this is main text. Let's change name, main. And go to color, let's change to black. Okay, so let's lock layer. So, say first design text, let's enable. And let's double click left mouse for edit text. And let's write D. Clearization tool. And check here anchor point down. And if you not see anchor point here, let's move to here. If you anchor point in the center, let's select anchor point icon. And let's hold with left mouse and hold shift. Move to down, clearization tool and move to left. Nice. Then select this next text layer, let's enable and double click. Let's write here E, clearization tool and move to left. Okay, again check here anchor point down and let's select this next text layer, enable, double click, write S. Click selection tool, move to left, and select next text, enable, double click, let's write here I, click selection tool, move to right. Okay, select next text layer, enable, let's double click, write G, click selection tool, move to right. And finally select this last letter, let's enable, double click, write N. Clearization tool and move to right. Okay, so right now let's make animations. Select first letter D, press S, and click this icon. This is very important. And let's change scale zero. Then make scale keyframe and go to ten keyframe. Again, we can use time duration. Write plus ten. Click OK, or we can use Hold Shift, press page down. Okay, so after go to 10 keyframe, chain scale 110. Go to 10 keyframe again, chain scale 95. Again, go to 10 keyframe, change 100. Let's go to solo, let's see animation. Okay, this is very slowly, let's make fast. Select these keyframes, make easy, then select all keyframes, hold alt, move to left. Let's see. Okay, this is very fast, let's hold alt. Move to right a little bit. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select the scale keyframes. Let's control C. Go to first second. Let's unsolo. Select other little layers and control V. Let's see. Nice. And let's make time duration. Select this layer E. Let's move to right three keyframes. Select S. Move to right again. And I. Move to right and G and N. Okay, let's close scale keyframes and select these text layers. Let's move to right. And let's see timing. Okay, let's move to right here. Nice. Let's select this main text. Let's unlock and delete. Let's see timing animation. Nice, very good. So, let's close title action save and select all layers, hold Ctrl A and click motion blur for realistic animation, let's say again. Very good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.